last year. The opposition says the deal amounts to smoke and mirrors on the government's part. Joining me now, Shadow Climate Change and Energy Minister Ted O'Brien. Thanks for your time. The headlines here and the story suggest it's sort of longer term gas supply, maybe after the next two to three years. Isn't this what both governments have been trying to do for many years? Hello, Tom. Great to be with you again. And look, you're right that I think both sides of government should be looking at locking in long term supply. And if I am to be happy about today's announcement, it is that exemptions exist to Labor's code of conduct, exemptions to their policy, because what has proven to be the case is you can't get gas flowing in this country unless you work outside of Labor's own framework. Without those exemptions, we would still have blockages. And so the announcement today represents really a concession on the part of Labor that the only way you can get gas flowing in this country is if companies are given the opportunity to work outside of the policy framework Labor itself has put in place. So I think that is a good thing, um, which is why those exemptions um, have to be there in place. Otherwise, we are going to see massive shortfalls far sooner um, than they're looking, and they're looking dire anyway. Right, but this was a situation under the coalition which was never solved long term either, right? We had threats of gas triggers and so on. This shortage has been um, evident for quite a while. Any deal's a good one, isn't it? Well, actually, Tom, I think there's no doubt that the supply challenge um, is a long-term one, but the Coalition was managing it. Um, we never had such dire predictions coming from the operator, ACCC, market analysts, um, as we do now. Um, and that is because, effectively, the Coalition worked with industry. Now, sometimes that was a, a tough relationship. Um, sometimes there were a lot of arguments. But what we resisted to do as a coalition was put ourselves in the centre of the entire marketplace. Uh, that is what Labor has done, and that is why they are now seeking exemptions for their own code, because basically they blocked up the entire market. Uh, the existing players need exemptions to get gas out. Uh, new players aren't even coming to town. Um, there's been an enormous shortfall in future investment um, and we have our major trading partners saying, well, is Australia serious anymore when it comes to gas? None of those issues existed under the coalition. They are a direct consequence of policy, which is why we continue to encourage the Albanese government to change tack. Uh, let's hit this new year, 2024, by trying to pour more gas into the market um, the deal that was announced today doesn't get so much as one additional pedagogy into the domestic market that wasn't already destined for the domestic market. Um, it's business as usual. If anything, they've sort of, sort of uncorked uh, the, the blockage that had been created by their code of conduct through the exemptions. And 